So we start off with the Cooler Boxer Brief going for £14 online. Now I actually got it for £7.50 as it was in a 50% sale. So definitely one of the cheaper pairs of underwear on the market and actually in my review it was the cheapest. Now it's made from 95% micromodal and 5% elastine. Now micromodal is an eco-friendly material. It's recyclable made from wood pulp and basically they turn that into the underwear. So I love the fact that they've done this. It's breathable and it's 100% Now I'm not sure if you guys have come across this brand before or even bought yourself a pair of underwear but I now know that the new range that they've created, this one I have in my hand, is being made by a different manufacturer. Now the difference in quality from the previous manufacturer and this manufacturer is huge. I mean they've definitely brought the A game to this or K game. See what I did there? The quality of the make I mean, little things like the band, the thickness of the band is so much better and it's a lot more smoother and silkier. The logo also has been stitched on a lot better um, and it feels like quality and stitching in the underwear as a whole is a lot better. So massive bounty points. So if you bought a pair from the old range, then this newer range with the new manufacturer is a lot better and you will definitely notice a difference. So onto the logo, um, which is actually placed at the back of the underwear. Um, now I've not actually seen this in many pairs. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's probably down to personal preference. However, I know a lot of people prefer to be a bit more discreet with their underwear. So it just looks like a plane with no kind of in your face brands or logos or anything like that. So if you like that kind of thing, then, then this pair um, and this range is would be good for that because the logo is placed discreetly around the back of the underwear. So not only did I get a pair of the black trunks, I also got this colour in the boxer brief. Now as you can see the boxer brief has a slightly longer leg than the trunk so if you do have longer legs then and bigger legs as well then this might be a little bit more comfy for you so they won't rise up as much as the trunk but good set of colours. I love this colour, I love this colour. I love colour. So overall, I love where this range is going and how this underwear feels. It's one of the cheapest pairs, like I said before, that I'm doing my review on. We're going at £14 and yeah, the whole eco-friendly thing is definitely the way forward and a theme which I'll be doing the rest of my underwears on. So keep up the good work, Kula, and stay eco -friendly. So this is CDLP's green boxer brief going for £29 online. Now this is made from 95% lyocell and 5% elastic. Again, lyocell is an eco-friendly material made from wood pulp, just like microphone. So 100% loving that. It feels smooth on the legs, it feels comfortable on the skin, plenty of moving about in the tester here, and basically enough elastic so the waistband doesn't move, and on the legs as well so it doesn't rise up. Now, the legs, I feel like with boxer briefs anyway, I find that they always kind of ride up a little bit on the legs. So to find an underwear where it doesn't basically do this, you have to have a lot of elastine in. And when you have a lot of elastine in, it obviously makes it a lot tighter. So it's a hard mix to do to kind of solve that problem, which is why I love to wear briefs. So briefs are my underwear, as most of you probably know. I prefer to wear these because I have long legs and I hate it when it rises up on the legs. So that is why I prefer briefs. Let's keep going. Now, again, this isn't so much a statement pair of underwear, but in your face kind of underwear, but 100% a quality pair of underwear. This feels great. I mean, the logo as well on the side, if I show you the back of this, the logo is placed just above the bum on the right hand side. So not central, but just around the side again on the back. So there's no branding on the front you can't see again why I say this isn't a statement pair of underwear. It's it's very discreet, which again, isn't a bad thing at all. So like I said, if you can see the, the logo there, CDLP, it's not almost coming away from the waistband. It's actually, I'm just trying to show you if you, can, if you can see it. It feels like it's cut into the waistband, which is really nice. I love that. Uh, just so you know, with every pair of underwear, I've worn it to bed, I've worn it doing exercise, I've washed every single pair twice and I've worn them over two weeks as well. So this really has had the testing of my active ways, not like that, 
just to see if I've been sweating or if it's uncomfortable, if it's chafing, anything like that, and the actual material as well and how it feels. So again, I really love this one. Really nice pair. I like the colour. I like the simplicity of it, the feel, the quality. Thumbs up, double thumbs up for this one. Nice job. Nice job. So the third and final pair is the Bang & Strike Strike Pro Emboss Sport Trunk Alloy. So this is going online for £22 and is made from 92% polyamide and 8% elastine. Silky smooth, very silky smooth on the body and has a breathable mesh pouch. So as you can see here, the pouch it has a mesh pouch, which is very, very useful if you are a guy. I was a little bit worried at first if the whole thing was made from polyamide because even though it is silky, um, you do tend to sweat a little bit more. It's not as breathable as the previous materials, um, but the mesh pouch in the middle obviously makes it breathable um, in the right areas as well. This design has an embossed logo on the front, which you can see here very clearly. I love this typeface and I love the embossed feel. It gives it that kind of superiority kind of feel. You feel powerful. It's a very manly pair of underwear, um, but you need a strong logo for this to work. And personally, I feel like this is a strong logo and the fact that it's embossed as well, I love. Now, there are two tiny, tiny, tiny little issues. Issue number one is when I bought them, it actually had a tag on the back of it, which I've taken out here. I've tried to take out here. I couldn't actually get rid of that last bit. Now the tag was kind of irritating my back and it was itching when I was wearing it. So again, this can be easily kind of avoided just by getting a pair of scissors and trying to cut it out. I've tried to cut it out. This side I've been successful with, but this side is really kind of entangled in it. Maybe I just did it wrong. If you can do it better, ideal but there is a tag hit on every pair and I've actually cut them out on all of them. So it just irritates me personally. Again, if you're completely fine with it, then that's good. But this one I got rid of. Secondly, the sizing was a slight issue. So I have a 32 waist, I'm a medium and on the website it says a medium. Now on each pair that I've worn, they're actually quite small. So what I would recommend if you're buying anything from Bang & Strike, that if you're a small, you go for a medium. If you're a medium, you go for a large. It was very tight um, and a little bit uncomfortable because of that. Now, I like everything about the underwear. I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. If the, the sizing was slightly different, it would have just made this underwear. So if you're a medium by large, if you're a small by a medium, that is the only thing. But apart from that, yes, yes, I like this pair as well. There we have it. Boom. Ah. That is the end of my video. Thank you for watching, guys. Please like my video and subscribe. Please. Please. And hopefully, I will see you very soon in my next one. Peace.